Senate President Ahmed Lawan says Nigeria needs to adopt a deliberate policy to sustain and create leadership at all levels of governance as there was debt of quality leadership in the country. Mr. Lawan, who leads Nigeria's ninth National Assembly, disclosed at the inauguration of the fourth cohort of the Kashim Ibrahim Fellowship in Kaduna, the Senate President explained that the lack of leadership at all levels of government in Nigeria is a major factor preventing Nigeria from attaining certain development. According to him, there is a need for government at all levels to come up with a deliberate leadership policy to help complement the kind of goals the country must achieve, structure, and public service. In our case, we never stated anything about leadership in Nigeria for us to reach the level of development that we need in our country. Every part, segment, and strata of the society must have a developed, deliberately focused leadership so that what we do at the local level complements what we do at the state and from there terminating at the apex at the federal level mr lawan said no matter how hard we try to develop our country at the federal level if our states are not able to provide the kind of leadership and complementary development then we cannot achieve the kind of goals and targets that we feel we must achieve as a country he said Speaking further on the security challenges in the country, he stated that there is a need for collaborative effort from all state government to overcome security challenges and not just those outrightly affected by banditry and terrorism. He said that if there are quality leaders at all levels of government, it will positively impact the country because they are being prepared for the tax. It is not about your state. Wherever there is good development in the country, it spirals into others. When Boko Haram started in the northeast, some people felt that a Bonu state, it was Bonu state matter. But today, Boko Haram is beyond Nigeria and no one in Nigeria is safe. It is with leadership. If we have leadership in, a, in any part of the country, it wraps up positively on other parts of the country. When we have these arrays of leaders, Nigeria has a hope that we'll have leaders who are not only willing to give leadership because... They happen to be there, but because they have been prepared to give leadership, he added. During the inauguration, Kaduna State Governor Nasi Erufai said his administrations believe in the capability of young people informed the decision to initiate the Kashim Ibrahim Fellowship conceived to help widen the pool of young persons and groom future generations of leaders. In 2015, Kaduna State Governor Nasi Erufai set up the Kashim Ibrahim Fellowship, a leadership mentorship and training program for young people. The program is named after the first governor of northern Nigeria, Sir Kashim Ibrahim. Members are being selected across the country to join the initiative which helps to build young people's minds positively. Senate President Ahmed Lawan is stating that the problem that the country is having the cures, uh, the reason behind everything we are facing right now is as a result of uh, uh, its lack of leadership. <laughs> well said. You've said it. Well, that means all of you should step down. Because you are the Senate President and you are occupying a position of leadership. That is leadership. It's not only President Mohamed Buhari that is the leader. All the governors, they are all leaders as well. And leadership is by example. Is by example, not just saying plenty was because now he's talking about them um, from the local government. I know the local government, everything has to do well, but they are looking at the top, they are looking at how um, things are structured. No structure, uh, President Mohammed Buhari does whatever suits him, whatever he likes. No pattern, no um, fairness, no uniform uh, um, law. It looks like um, some, some certain laws are for some people, the people who cannot um, uh, uh, attain or. <laughs> Who cannot be enough to get that sort of judgment? So they belong to another class. Another sort of judgment is for them. Then the ones that have moved forward. What what sort of that is all that is the reason behind everything we're facing right now and dealing with. And Buhari showing himself as just the president of the northerners, not the president of the whole country. If it's the president of the whole country, concerns are being raised about uh, these bandits and these uh Fulani headsmen. We're just talking about even Fulani headsmen alone. And he can't see it as a leader, someone who is the number one citizen, the uh, 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 the 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 one who is in charge of the country. He swore an oath to defend lives and property, but he cannot see any need to attend to that.
taking sides with northerners is leadership leadership problem is the is the thing that is why apc will not be given another chance come 2023 because they're the ruling party right now see the mess they brought the country into this was in the way president mohammed uh, i beg your pardon good luck jonathan former president good luck jonathan handed the country over to him it wasn't this way it was a couple of days ago a cleric muslim cleric was <laughs> it was raining thunder and brimstone uh, Buari doesn't return the country back to the state he met it. There's going to be a problem. They are not even asking him to do more. Uh, no, don't do more. Just bring it back to the level you met it. And let's move from there. We'll think about what to do. Buari has dragged this country many years back. If we talk different areas, so the debt, the debt he met, he has tripled that debt. Ordinarily, we'll be looking at, okay, he's reduced the debt a bit and what is left is just a, a few percentage, even if he doesn't pay it, uh, pays it off. But he's tripled the debt and the money, the debt we're talking about is borrowing from China. It's not like he's using it in the country. Let, um, so we see changes in our infrastructure, in our hospitals, in our schools. At least if he's paying off, we're seeing all that he's using the money for. We'll know very well that, okay, fair enough. Things are working. There is electricity. There is good roads. Insecurity is a thing of the past. And how to deal with insecurity? He, he himself stopped sponsoring all of um, these bandits. Himself and the governors. Erifai, so let, let me even just divert. Erifai is talking about leadership program. Yeah, he's the one. He set up a, a mentoring program to mentor people. This same Erifai, he was the one that said uh, bandits, they are not bad people after all. Now they are just into kidnapping for business. See who is mentoring other people's children. See because see the sort of belief he has, his uh, idea, his ideology, his philosophy about uh, bandits. You know that was the, one of the reason he was kicked out of uh, the MBA, uh, <laughs> the MBA's uh, uh, their program last year. It's, they told him that unfortunately you can't be a speaker because you've not uh, you've not shown good example. You've not uh, been a leader by example. Ahmed Lawan is, he, he, all he's doing here is just exposing President Mohamed Buhari's government. APC, they are the ruling party. They've messed up this country. Nigerians can't wait for them to just step aside. Step aside. Not, we're not looking for recycled politicians, the ones that are jumping from one party. Because if you jump from PDP to APC or from APC to PDP, it's still the same thing. It's the same party that is the, it's just that you are just changing title. But this, because these are the politicians, these are the same people who don't have any uh, they don't have any any sort of a uh, compassion or any anything they are not people centric they are not thinking about the people how the country can be developed lawan is giving speech here and it's this same lawan that has been fighting southern governors that what are they talking about there will be no ban on open grazing there will be no uh, um, that uh, uh, ultimatum given to fulani headsmen to evacuate that why are they sending them out the same the same lawan is the same person so it's very obvious that um, all of them they, they, are, they need to be sent packing for Nigeria to breathe uh, some fresh air. See why agitations are rising. Bad leadership. Well, guys, let's hear your take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. So, like, come your way again with more updates. Bye.